Hi, I'm Kevin Cameron, and the items in front of me are the alternator rotor, which has magnets in a ring, and the alternator stator, which attaches to the outside of the crankcase in such a way that this assembly of iron poles, each with a coil of wire wound around it, fits inside of this so that as the crankshaft, which is here, spins, magnets are constantly reversing the magnetism in each of these poles. Those reversals of magnetism induce currents in these windings, wire windings, which sends power, three-phase power, out of this connector. You'll see that it has three terminals. The more electronics that the manufacturers put on bikes, fuel injection is electronic, uh, the ignition of course is electronic, and all of the new rider aids are electronic. Every year the need for electric power on the motorcycle increases, so alternators have had to become more and more powerful. It was really a problem getting this piece off of here because those magnets in there are very strong. They're really strong. So when this rotor is spinning around at 10,000 RPM, this thing pushes out some power. Every motorcycle has the equivalent, a device like this, not in every case is it mounted on the crankshaft end. Sometimes it's mounted up behind the engine driven by gears. But there will be some source of alternating current power on any modern motorcycle. In order to charge the battery, that alternating current has to be rectified into DC, direct current. Then that's used through a voltage regulator to charge the battery. I like that part. Nice looking. Good stuff. Glad I made this little engine's acquaintance.